flying has always been Jin Jiangjin's dream, even though he's 47, he decided to get a private pilot's license. I used to be a pilot in the army, but after I retired from military service, I got no chance to fly. Now as general aviation is developing rapidly, I want to be a professional private pilot. Now any Chinese citizen aged 17 and above and with at least junior high school education can apply for a private pilot's license. After receiving a certified report of their physical fitness, they have to go through 40 hours of theoretical studies, 5 hours of simulation studies if a flight simulator is present, and another 40 hours of flying training before they take the relevant tests. Under these new regulations, more Chinese citizens will become eligible to apply for a private pilot's license. And with the increasing demand for private aircraft for personal and entertainment use, the Chinese general aviation industry seems ready to take off. General aviation has a huge potential market, including agriculture, tourism, disaster rescue and relief. But most of China's airspace is presently reserved for military use. Compare that to 85% of the United States airspace open for civil aviation. The new rules will largely help to expand the market because in the past, many people liked to fly, but their physical fitness did not meet the standards. Now that the requirement has been eased. In 2013, this flight training company trained more than 30 pilots. That number is expected to keep rising in the coming years. China has a rapidly expanding demand for private jet travel. The new requirements will allow more people to fulfill their flying dreams. Wu Lei, CCTV, Shanxi Province.